Howdy y'all, McLoki here, and today let's play Zelter. Welcome back to Season 2, Episode 4, so without other, further, other madu hadu, let's go. So, we're going to go ahead and get everybody to stop following us, because we're picking up from the last episode. And we brought everybody home with us, as you can see. I mean, please feel free to let me know what you think in the comments down below. My two cents, uh, like I kind of touched on in the last episode, is they're going to start every episode here. And while I can get them to craft and stuff, um, I'll go ahead. I can't interact with their inventory. Whoop, that was me. <laughs> now, <laughs> all jumpy. I just fire accidentally and freak my own self out. Yeah, that happens. So I did not go through um, yet. Let's go ahead and get rid of you and you and heal them up. But I will between episodes, so or between this episode and the next one, because my real life schedule, that's how that's going to work out. <laughs> but yeah, so like always, you know, I am curious what y'all's thoughts are about the series. If y'all still enjoying it, still liking it, still keeping it interesting and fresh. I know it's a bit challenging considering there's only so much we can do in the game. Um, I'm thinking maybe for episode 150. Wow. <laughs> I do concede. I was not anticipating making this many uh, episodes consistency or consistently like this. Like I was thinking that updates would come and destroy the save and I'd have to kind of restart a couple of times. But that's all right. I like this playthrough. But maybe around episode 150 or so, we'll find a group of engineers, assuming no patches come out between now and then, that kind of inhibit our ability to do so. And they'll have a couple of crossbows. I'll make them the bald crossbow bolt bandits. Um, they can be members from another city that we finally built a radio tower and were able to call in from the ether or from another place and be like, hey, we're established, we're safe. And they'll be like, oh, well, that's great because we got uh, overran on this outpost, so we were getting ready to leave anyway, you know. And I think that'd be kind of a cool addition to add to the game anyway. Like, maybe there's a radio tower you can build, and then you can radio in people, or you can use that to coordinate with, like, out of state or a different an army base or something. And they're like, hey, if you build up this location and stock it with these supplies we can airdrop in the people and then they can hold it and defend it and then you gain access to more people and ways to get other resources and i know that that's probably a bit a lot <laughs> you know a bit rather on the ambitious side but who knows it would be really nice to see how it goes but and i know i kind of talked about this um I think that they should keep this map static and then let you leave town to go on runs or what have you and have that be the dynamic map. Um, who wants some apples? I'll put them here. So what do we need? We need some bombs. Um, we also need beds. I don't want to invest everything in beds though. I'll go ahead and move that over like that and then that over like that. Oop. I always need ammo, so I'm going to build... We'll also go through... Where's our cloth? So I'm going to build me a couple of bandages. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? And then I'm going to delete all of these uh, rags. And we'll call that an equivocal trade. I heal up my people. I go throw away some cloth, some rags, which would be more than sufficient. We'll call that happy. So bam, there we go. Let's get to making how many bombs? Four bombs? Do we think four bombs is a good amount of bombs? Because we're going to have to build so many beds, and beds are so expensive. But I think that's what we need to do. I'll also have to get my axe back. Or I could build another one. I think the axe is better for food anyway. Oh yeah, I have to build iron, or forge iron. You don't really build iron, right? You forge it, and then I can make some pipes, and then I can get some bio goo and make some bombs.
But <clears throat> as I completely lose my train of thought, excuse me. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> you guys are like, that, that, that's not how this works. You'll not see the comments until the video is already made. And by then, it's kind of a mute point, moot point. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Um, hmm. Maybe I should have done nine. No, I think 12 was right. Yeah, so I need to build beds and I need to also get some more bullets, build some barricades. I need to build an ax. Maybe what's better? Breaks rocks, iron and glass, furniture, chopping trees. Yeah, I think I need an ax, which will be just two of these. How many of these could I make? 72 divided by 2, that's 36. That's a few beds. Four beds, maybe. I think I'm going to focus on building beds. No, I should build the axe first. That's what I'll do. I'm just going to build two of these. And then we'll go ahead and come over here. We'll drop all of this off for right now. Pick up you, circle on back, get my axe, and we'll go ahead and chop down these potatoes. Because it's been a little while since we chopped anything down. I mean, admittedly, we don't really need anything anymore. Um, we want things. Um, right now, we want space. So I think the trick here is to get two. Um, not really working out how I was thinking it would. There's a spot, or there used to be, yeah, where you can hit both. There we go. Ow, don't hit my dresser, please. I'm hungry. I didn't want to do that. And I mean, I think the durability of stuff should be kind of tweaked a bit, because I mean, this axe is kind of disappearing rather quick, I think. And I get it, you know, it, again, it just comes back to wood being such a, not burden, but a, a, an unpleasant experience to gather, you know, because it's RNG, you can't ever really do anything about it. You just are slated forever to be left to the fates about whether or not... yeah, it's gone. Well, let's go ahead and shove some potatoes in our mouth because we've got fat stacks of them. Would like to be able to bake potato... Oh, not you, you. Baked potatoes, grilled potatoes, have all sorts of potato concoctions, maybe potato booze or uh, vodka. Do I want to build another axe? Not really. Um, so let's grab all of this again and let's build a couple of beds. I think I'll also need a stack of you and a stack of you. And maybe a few more. So we'll get over here. So yeah, let's try and build two beds. Can we build three beds? That'll be 24. So look, I know only half of y'all have beds, but we've got to start somewhere, right? We have five beds, one, two, three, Maybe only four beds, <laughs> five beds if we include that. But look, y'all are all going to be at different energy levels anyway. And yeah, I did tweak their energy so they don't need a lot of sleep. Because um, again, the thought was that they would just be there standing in a patrol position and I'd just be there feeding them and hydrating them. So I upped their health and their energy a bit to kind of help compensate for that. But Best laid plans, right? Uh, three, yep. So I think that this will kind of offshoot that a little lot bit. <laughs> um, as we get 
glorious, glorious messages from our lovely wife. One moment. Alrighty, and we got our crafting completed, so that worked out beautifully. So I'm thinking we'll just do three. It's not going to be symmetrical though. One, two, I think we'll have to do it like that. We want to be space efficient. I don't know, the symmetry is not symmetry. One. We could do a little mine plot. So I think that's what we'll do. And this will be sleeping quarters. And we'll go ahead and drop you off down here. What else? Do, 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 do. As I sit here and figure out how to get my life a bit more organized, inventoryized, invitized. Just gonna get rid of that. Um, and that's that. That's that. We did kind of run through the town in the last episode, so I'm thinking I'll just take the Major with me. Come here, Major. We're gonna go check in real quick. Oop, as I get stuck. <laughs> this will be a super quick recon. Oh, I thought I made use faster. I'll have to. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll have to double check that. That's why I picked you. I thought you were faster than me. I mean, maybe there's just a follow thing. I'll check real quick. Major, 120. What am I? 120? No, you're my speed. Okay, so yeah, I gotta modify that. Because I feel like I'm absolutely gaining. But yeah, we're just gonna do a real quick run to the police station. I'm gonna delete those potatoes. Uh, I love the sound of the RM-16 shooting. I mean, I use it all the time, but it is such a expensive weapon to use. And I'd really like to use the shotgun. I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up real quick. Can never have too many sticks. But yeah, we just kind of run around the town now. Not a care in the world. We know we have the Major. I mean, there aren't any touch comas or cloaking to help, but we don't need any of that. We'll be fine. And we did just kind of clear the town, so we will destroy this as the building bleeds. It's not at all ominous or disturbing. Oops. Yeah, that works. It'll despawn. I mean, look at that. It, it, the building is bleeding. Oh, okay. Maybe that's part of it. Yeah, we're going to come back up here real quick. Why was I coming up here? Um, I'll drop the sticks off here. There was a reason. I don't remember what it was. Mm. That's okay. I know I did want to check up on things and delete the potatoes. I kind of forgot the other reason, but that's alright. That is a-okay. Alright, so we're done. Recon mission is over. Let's head back. And let's hurry. Just gonna pick that up and delete it. Bam, there we go. To get you to ta-ta. Ta-ta. <laughs> oh, you love to hear it. Or I love to hear it. Alright, we'll take a slightly different route home. Ow. Thank you for that covering fire. I also did tweak them so they have um, unlimited ammo. Because I'm not going to be crafting bullets for all eight people with the weaponry that they have and the way that they handle shooting. Like, I'd, I'd do nothing but cry. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even be crafting. I'd just be crying and figuring out a way to forge my tears into the necessary resources because that's what would happen. So, there you go. Yeah, I thought I had a helmet. That's what it was, a different um, outfit. Actually, now that I think about it, let's go ahead and check the stash real quick. We made a real quick run to the police station. We got rid of the potatoes that they uh, quote unquote ate. So we'll stick with that story. <laughs> 
Um, we'll, we're clearing out the potato fields to put a uh, barracks. I mean, it would be kind of cool. Oh, you got stuck here. Let me help. Gonna come. Thank you. If you could actually like build buildings and stuff, but for right now, we just have to play pretend and think we're building a little, a little barracks. Uh, so let's go up here. Helmets, pants, and tops. Oh, okay, we don't have the masks. Fence. I'm just kind of looking around. Let's go up here. It would also be neat if you could, like, um, trim bushes and stuff. Okay, yeah, so we got plenty of room. I don't know why that's there. And this one's filled with potatoes, so I'll fill you up with potatoes. Because that makes perfect sense. Do, 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 do. And I'll keep those two on me. Perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab a quick drink and sleep save and wrap this episode up here. So thank y'all everybody for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below, you know, and I shall see y'all in the next one. Have a good one, y'all.